So for the final part of our electric car special, we've got the Toyota Prius plug-in hybrid. The first Prius that you're able to plug in and charge using one of the free electrical charging points that are popping up across the UK. OK, so it's not a totally electric car and looks-wise it certainly doesn't ooze the same cool factor as the Mini E. But on the inside it's a different story. It's spacious, comfy and the display on the dash is pretty nifty too, displaying crucial information about the car, including system indicator graphics detailing all the information for both the petrol and electric motors. This new Prius is virtually identical to the current third gen model, so it's still a conventional hybrid with a 1.8 litre engine, only now it sports a lithium ion battery and you can plug it in and charge it from any three pin socket, with a full charge taking just an hour and a half, boosting the all electric range from 1.2 miles to 12.5. That means the Prius will do 108.6 miles per gallon and bring CO2 emissions down to around 60 grams per kilometre. So you're doing your bit for the environment and it's cheaper to run than other models. If you don't have far to travel and can charge it at both ends of your journey, there's really no need for the petrol engine to kick in. But if you want to floor it and go over the top EV speed of 62 miles per hour, or you're travelling over long distances, the system will automatically shift to petrol power. Having never driven a Prius before, I've been told I'm driving the best version yet. And despite its slightly uncool exterior, it's actually a really nice drive. Now, what I really like about the Prius is that it gives you most of the benefits of an electric car and a petrol car, and is a great compromise between efficiency and usability. Now, sadly, I'm driving one of only 20 models that are part of a government-funded lease program for Toyota and EZF Energy, which means you won't be able to buy one until 2012.